What's going on there folks? Good evening. It is the Earth Master here on this Sunday, June 5th, 2022 date. It's about uh, 7 p.m. West Coast time here in uh, California. Latest quake shows a 2.7 earthquake coming into the area of Hawaii. I believe that's the uh, seismograph uh, activity we're picking up right now on the graph. Notice the uh, well-defined earthquake signature there on the Alia Permanent Station around the southeast area of the big island of Hawaii. Going to be the latest quake there on the globe. Having a pretty good swarm of activity there on the big island today. All right, so uh, before we get into uh, earthquake activity, I kind of want to go over a little story here. I'm sure you guys have heard about it. Uh, the alignment is coming up. Actually, it's starting. It started here on the 3rd. Uh, this article put out from space.com talking about uh, all five naked eye planets will be up in the pre-dawn sky so if you want to go out and see this uh early in the morning uh should be a nice little treat uh pretty much a planet parade so to speak uh from left to right in the southeastern pre-dawn sky you'll be able to spot mercury venus mars jupiter and saturn all in a row uh, mercury will be quite close to the horizon when the show starts june 3rd but becomes easier to spot as the month matures, it looks like the time frame of uh, June 24th may be the uh, best opportunity. Uh, Mercury should be up about an hour before the sun. And uh, it should be pretty cool, folks. I don't know if I want to get up that early, but hey, I might try that tomorrow. See if I can catch some uh, cool photographs there of this uh, planet alignment. Here's the, the uh, directions here. Looking east, looking southeast, looking south. Looks like it's going to be towards the... Uh, yeah, it looks like it's spread out all over there. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn in a row. Pretty awesome. I can't wait. Let's see if I can just set my alarm clock up for that uh, event here. Sometime uh, before it uh, disappears. Activity there on the big island of Hawaii showing uh, quite a bit of movement Been watching the seismograph stations there all day and they've been popping left and right with uh, earthquake activity I had a couple there above the 2.0 or 2.5 threshold including a 3.0 in the mix uh, near Pahala, uh, Pahala, Pahala, Hawaii The depth of these earthquakes there very typical for this region down there about 32 35 kilometers part of an ongoing sequence of swarms since uh, at least since about 1960 or so uh let's see what else we got uh, looking around the flat scale map not seeing a whole lot in terms of large scale activity let's drop the uh, bar down a little bit and see what the uh states have got one earthquake out here uh, just south of Clear Lake, right around the Cobb Mountain region, it looks like, again. Uh, let's see if there's any... Uh, this is actually a little south of there. Let me see if, see what's out there. About 2.5 miles for... Uh, or 2.5 kilometers below the surface for this earthquake. It is a little south of the uh, Cobb Mountain region, southeast. Uh, and that area today, just showing a little handful of quakes again not like it used to be so i'm not for sure if they're putting operations uh, temporarily on a pause or what's going on far as the hydrothermal operations go in this vicinity uh looking up to the north a little earthquake here kicking up uh near the willow creek area about 23 kilometers down into the cascadia subduction zone the mega thrust area of course you got to remember here got the subduction the deeper Earthquakes tend to happen more inland over the map. 2.3 at 23 kilometers there for that earthquake below the surface. 23 kilometers below the surface. Not a whole lot going on through Washington. We've got one earthquake here uh, near the Darrington, Washington area. But aside from that, not a whole lot being reported. Um, let's see what else we got here throughout parts of California. A little bit of activity on the San Andreas Fault Zone on the creeping section and the Ridgecrest area kind of lighten up here within the last hour with two earthquakes 
in the uh, red circles there, indicating those very small microquakes uh, just outside of Ridgecrest. Uh, Southern California, much further south, not seeing a whole lot. Got a little bit of swarming here um, in this uh, mountain range, it looks like. A couple of very small quakes. Four. Point four seems to be the magic number there. Uh, aside from that, not a whole lot going on throughout the west coast or the Intermountain West. Great Basin area looks pretty quiet as well. Uh, just a couple spotty earthquakes around the Pecos, Texas area and also outside of Quinton, uh, Oklahoma area. Eastern part of the country looks pretty quiet right now. Puerto Rico did see some activity. Uh, looks like this kind of died off though. And the majority of these quakes around the southwestern edge of Puerto Rico. South of the uh, Dominican Republic area did see a 4.2. But other than that, pretty quiet throughout the uh, rest of the Caribbean plate there. South America, about the same. This is some older movement from last night. A couple fours on the board. Some activity kicking up on the Tonga Trench once again. Some very shallow earthquake activity. Um, of course, we've had all this deeper movement outside of Fiji. Had that uh, larger scale six-pointer up here. Also the six-pointer that uh, kicked up, 6.4 that kicked up here a couple days ago in this vicinity. And not a whole lot of surface rupture up towards the subduction zone itself. Although it looks like it may be trying to fill in a little bit. And getting these very shallow earthquakes in the upper four range. The latest one, well, that's uh, the first one that kind of kicked off. Some of these newer ones more upstream, but I still think this is an area to watch uh, for some potential movement, considering uh, all the activity we've seen recently with hardly any uh, movement along this area. Uh, outside the Philippines, a little movement uh, earlier this afternoon, a 4.6. And uh, looks like this earthquake here near the uh, Andaman Sea from early, early this morning, early, early. I think before the sun even came out, 5.0. Java Trench, pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on through Tokyo or up on the Kurokam Chaka Trench. Some of this movement is some older activity in the four range. Got one earthquake outside of the uh, China area. And a uh, little earthquake here. Wow, 4.6 in this region of the world. Looks like I don't remember seeing any earthquake activity out here. Let's check this out. Historical data does show, uh, looks like a little bit of uh, movement throughout uh, history. Not a lot. Uh, and within this vicinity, it looks like they had a couple 4.5s and above around that area uh, since about 1900 or so. Up in the north part uh, or uh, yeah, around the uh, Albania area, seen a 4.3. Mediterranean Sea not showing too much in terms of anything above 4.0. The Atlantic Ocean all pretty quiet as well. The EMSC model here today showing about the same stuff that the uh, the USGS is reporting. So not a whole lot of uh, new movement to report. Of course, there is some activity down here around the North Island, New Zealand area. Some activity even within the last hour. Uh, notice that swarm of activity kind of stretching down here into our zone that we're kind of watching for some uh, larger scale movement. Got to remember when we get one section of the plate moving and another section on a large scale, uh, you know, you've got to be putting pressure up here within this area. So watch that pretty closely. Pretty good swarm of movement into the middle America Trench. A bunch of threes and twos kicking off there. Uh, in that area, Yellowstone National Park, not a whole lot going on here today, like always. No major swarms, no major movement to report here uh, throughout the Yellowstone Super Volcano. Tremor map tonight along the Cascadia. Eh, pretty good number, about 348 epicenters of tremor. Uh, looks like the majority into the Washington region. Uh, a little bit of spotty activity down here in southern Oregon towards the southern end of the Cascadia. Uh, volcanic activity. We'll check out Mount Rainier. See what we got for uh, any reports here around the uh, Camp Mir area. See if we got any earthquakes. 
Looks like a couple spotty earthquakes right here. Nothing big at all. Uh, let's check out the previous day. Uh, for Mount Rainier, not a whole lot going on. Just a couple very extremely small earthquakes. Some S waves, it looks like, from the uh, earthquakes yesterday on the UTC time. Uh, Mount St. Helens, we'll double check here real quick and see what we got going on for this uh, volcano. A little bit of activity it looks like here in, in the microquake department once again at Mount St. Helens and uh, of course previous day still quite a bit of activity there at Mount St. Helens I would say and this is all uh, pretty much microquake activity there's not a whole lot of changes going on I've been checking out the uh, uh, GPS overview of Mount St. Helens uh, checking out every single update seeing Making sure we're not looking at any type of uplift or, or a swelling of the volcano. It all kind of looks like it's uh, at a continual downhill trend of uh, at least the vertical displacement. Notice right here the up. This is uh, coming pretty recent here into the year 2022. Looks like it's on time. Looking at a pretty good drop of uh, GPS signals there. Uh, we're still looking at a northward movement though kind of taking a little little bit of an oddball turn and the uh, eastward movement here it looks like it's averaging out but uh, as far as any uplift any major swelling going on definitely not noted at all uh, in fact it looks like more subsidence than anything that could be contributing uh, to some of those uh, microquake earthquake uh, events going on up there uh, not a whole lot going on in the sun, folks. Again, I mean, it's, it is what it is. We try to report on it, whether it's happening or not. And right now, it's just not happening. We're not looking at any major events coming in. Uh, no major coronal holes. Solar sunspots are very minimal at best. Um, and, and there's just not a whole lot of development going on currently. So a um, little disappointed. But uh, we'll see how it goes right all right guys i'm gonna get out of here and uh, have a little dinner i think and um just enjoy the rest of the weekend here we'll chat you guys tomorrow sometime and uh yeah have a good night guys uh keep an eye on hawaii like i said it's, it's swarming pretty good with the uh activity today looking pretty uh pretty active all guys take care have a good night